white and blue and then we got the five or six different inserts there I'm not a fan of go hard or go home I like the brilliance uh, the emergence all right my favorite is probably the hype hype insert there anyways we uh we can get some silvers in here they're just pretty rare out of the cellos so you never know we will give it a shot though yeah we need to find some rugs we need to find anybody that's on a comp combine jersey it would be nice to have a bunch of those pro uniform players tonight we'll go ahead and get started yeah Xavier howard cameron hayward jameson crowder joey bosa Sometimes that fifth car is like always stuck there. There we go. That's some wild sleight of hand I did there. AJ Brown, Adrian Peterson, Trey Boston, Shaquille Griffin, Rob Gronkowski, John Brown is our green for the Bills. I want to see some green rookies. Those are kind of hard to pull. We got a nice go hard or go home Josh Allen for the Bills. And Jeff Okuda. Uh, looks like he's got a, f a little fingernail ding there just to the left of his leg. I don't know if you can see that or not. There it is. I'm not sure what that's about, but. Sometimes I don't notice those things. If I see it, I'm trying to point it out. Juju Smith Schuster, Trey Flowers, and a Josiah DeGuara. Red, white, and blue rookie for the Packers. Derek, that is the absolute first time I've ever seen someone make that comment. And I appreciate that. I've never had someone say they're looking for AJ Terrell rookies. All right, well, let's make it happen now. That's cool. You never, you never really hear about the, the, I guess less popular rookies like that. Le'Veon Bell, Jack Doyle, Jonathan Ogden, Saquon Barkley, Landon Collins, Hunter Henry, Ronald Jones Jr., Kirk Cousins, Cooper Cup, Eva Green, Melvin Ingram. the Chargers, a brilliant Julio Jones, and a Tyler Johnson rookie for the Bucks. That one's got a nasty scratch on the right side of it for some reason. That would be the thing to do. If you really know somebody or a, a player well, you know, if you went to the same high school as them, you know their work ethic, or you watch them closely in college, you just really think someone's going to be great. And they they're on a team that just doesn't sell well in the breaks. If you get in there and get the Falcons or somebody like that for three or four bucks a break, have a chance at a pretty decent card of the player. That's when it can be fun. Carlos Dunlap, Roquan Smith, and Julian Blackman. It's our rookie for the Colts. I always thought the Colts were the most undervalued team in the breaks for the longest time. Um, and I thought I was right whenever they, whenever Phillip retired, I was like, oh yeah, they definitely were the undervalued teams because Eason, st Eason stuff's about to skyrocket. And they traded for Wentz, and I was like, well, maybe they weren't.
Oh, that's sweet. See, that's cool when you can when you can do that. The my situation would be uh, Malik Monk. I picked up a bunch of his cards. He went to school in a little town close to where I went to college, and then traveled across the state to go to a little bit bigger school to play basketball. So I picked up quite a few of his cards, pretty cheap. And if they if he does really well, like he's been doing lately, and they go up in value, I'll sell some and keep some of the more classy looking ones. Deshaun Watson, Jamal Adams, Quentin Nelson, Hunter Henry, Danny Amendola, Sean Lee, Curtis Samuel, Devin White, Kyle Rudolph. There's a rookie. Ah, it was Dolphins. I was hoping it was gonna be two. Of Raquan Davis, green for the Dolphins. They got a Justin Jefferson emergent rookie for the Vikings. And Brandon Ayuk for the 49ers. So not a terrible lineup there. Got a rookie on the green slot. And two decent skilled players after that. Justin Jefferson's a little more decent, I'd say. Saw somebody posted uh, earlier in the group. I don't remember if that was today or yesterday, but they're talking about this new software coming out that's going to be called Dibs, where you can own fractional shares of cards or something like that. I don't know the details of it, but I have seen a portion of a video and heard people talking about it quite a bit. So I'm interested to see uh, what that's all about. Not sure if I'll partake or not, but it would be kind of cool to have a little fun in like a stock market for trading cards got Stefan Diggs nice Taysom Hill prism I don't know that I've ever seen actually I've seen it. I just don't think I've pulled a, a parallel of it and LaVisca Chenault Jr red white and blue for the Jaguars Andre Johnson, Mark Ingram, Keelan Cole, Kenny Galladay, Leighton Vander Esch, Noah Fant, Sedarius Smith, Byron Murphy, Calvin Ridley, have a Mark Andrews Green for the Ravens, a Brilliance Damian Williams for the Chiefs. And there's a Tyler Johnson for the Buccaneers. This one looks a little cleaner than that other one. That one had that nasty scratch on it. Gino Atkins, Adam Thielen, and Ben DiNucci. A little red, white, and blue for the Cowboys. If you're picking up the Cowboys in breaks, um, you're probably picking them up for C.D. Lamb mainly, but this is kind of a nice little sleeper pickup. You can never go wrong getting some quarterback rookies, whether they're going to be the next big thing or not. There was a time where Burrow went down and Finley started, played a game or whatever. A lot of people sold out of their Finley cards, made some money to buy boxes they could open or more cards of their favorite player. It'd be something to look out for with Danucci, unless you think he's he's big time. Nobody's as big time as Trace McSorley though. We got Ed Reed for the Ravens, John Brown, Miles Garrett, Zeke Elliott, Javon Curse, 
Alshon Jeffrey, Robert Woods, Dion Jones, Richard Sherman, uh, Allen Robinson, Green for the Bears, uh, Lamar Jackson, Go Hard or Go Home for the Ravens, and Jordan Brooks, rookie for the Seahawks. Miles Sanders for the Eagles, Eric Kendricks for the Vikings, and another lower-tiered quarterback currently, Anthony Gordon for the Seahawks. They're talking about trading Russell Wilson, or Russell Wilson saying that he wouldn't mind, I guess, going to a certain few teams. I don't know what they, if they trade for another quarterback or if they've got another option in mind. I don't know what that looks like. I'm sure they just make a swap for another quarterback or something. That'd be something crazy if they traded straight up for Deshaun Watson. Somebody said that they should trade straight up uh, Dak and Deshaun. I think it was ESPN did that. What if they just traded Dak straight up for Deshaun, moved him to the different cities in Texas? I'd be like, what in the world is the point of that? Chad Johnson, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Minka Fitzpatrick. Fletcher Cox, Darren Waller, David Montgomery, George Kittle, Ian Thomas, Chris Carson. We got a Mike Evans Green for the Buccaneers. Not too bad there. An emergent Henry Ruggs for the Raiders and Bradley and A for the Cowboys. I've seen a lot of People talking about just how antsy they are for all, all those trade talks. Like every morning on ESPN, there's a new headline. I think today's big news was J.J. Watt to the Cardinals. Maybe that was yesterday, but I guess he's going to play for the Cardinals. Interesting, interesting people. Some big names moving around. That's the way it is now in sports, though. Buddies make a couple calls over to James Harden and say, hey, we want you up in Brooklyn. We need you to gain a few pounds and make the city hate you so we can get you for super cheap. Joe Thomas, red, white, and blue for the Browns. Demario Davis and Neville Gallimore, red, white, and blue for the Cowboys. This will be my last celebrate probably for a while. Last loose celebrate. I have a couple sealed cello boxes left. Um, I don't really have the loose cellos anymore. So I'm not sure I like them. I wish I would have bought more hanger boxes. The hanger boxes are... Uh, hanger boxes were always the best breaks it seemed like. Like right now, we're kind of struggling a little bit. Marlon Humphrey, Josh Allen, Devontae Parker, Zeke Elliott, Javon Curse, Alshon Jeffrey. There's a Tom Brady. Nice base there. Kenny Clark, Patrick Peterson. We got, ooh, nice green DK Metcalf. A little second year card for the Seahawks. Man, that dude is jacked out of his mind he's yoked most football players are though we got nick chubb fireworks for the browns there he is well aj terrell base card for the falcons gotta give it some immediate love because it was a personal request at the beginning of the video that we pull some aj terrell cards And TV twelve. 
All right, maybe I'll catapult us into something better here with this red, white, and blue pack. We've been getting a lot of the combine guys. Tredavious White for the Bills. Nice Drew Brees and Joshua Kelly for the Chargers. Still got four solos left, so there's still hope. Still hope. Andre Johnson. Mark Ingram, Keelan Cole, Colin Farrell, Evan Ingram, Vaughn Miller, Alan Lazard, Kyler Murray, second year card, Dante Culpepper. Ooh, nice little fireworks green Christian McCaffrey for the Panthers. Those cards are sharp when they're green like that. Hype cards are good looking too. We got Brilliance Chris Carson. And a J.K. Dobbins rookie. Actually, it wasn't a bad pack. J.K. Dobbins is pretty sweet. I bet you can get Christian McCaffrey and Saquon rookie cards like crazy cheap right now. Just because like nobody probably even thinks about them at the moment. Austin Eckler for the Chargers. Nice Jerry Rice. And Patrick Queen, rookie for the Ravens. Couple of Ravens rookies out of that solo. All right, Chad Johnson. Ryan Fitzpatrick, Minka Fitzpatrick, Carson Wentz, Roquan Smith, Dak Prescott, Debo Samuel, Brian Burns, KJ Wright, we have uh, another Ravens rookie, James Prochet, Green for the Ravens, we got Emergent Jerry Judy, and Terrell Lewis, rookie for the Rams. Of our decent receiver rookies have been emergent. We've had the Rugs was emergent. Justin Jefferson early in the break was an emergent. And then we got this Judy emergent. Not sure what that's about. I don't even think we pulled uh we pulled like two lower end quarterbacks, but we have not not done much for the big boys at all. Demarcus Lawrence, OJ Howard, another Raven, Devin Duvernay. Good lands. Last two cells have been just juiced up with Ravens cards. Curtis Martin, Nick Chubb, 
Ricky Williams, Mike Williams, Marvin Jones Jr., Jalen Smith, Rondé Barber, got another one of those weird scratches on it, Daniel Hunter, Aaron Donald, oh, oh is that Dolphins colors or Jaguars? Jaguars, Colin Johnson, Colin Johnson, come on, a little green of him there, really off center, left to right, uh, nice little Cam Akers, we're getting some of the better rookies, but they're all the emergent cards, and a Lynn Bowden Jr. rookie for the Raiders, I like Cam, Cam, Jeff Cam, Justin Jefferson, Henry Ruggs and Jerry Judy, all emergent rookies. Kenny Stills, DeAndre Hopkins, nice one for the Cardinals, and Zach Moss for the Buffalo Bills. No, Jeffrey, it's been just a bunch of skilled players and combine players. Danucci and Anthony Gordon are the only two quarterbacks we pulled out of this whole break so far. Been fairly brutal. Josh Allen, Ken Anderson, Mike Jacecki, Brian Dawkins, Terrell Williams, Hakeem Hicks, Brian Burns, KJ Wright, another Tom Brady. That car looks like somebody cut it with scissors. And no, no laser or nothing, because that is way off. Top is thicker than the bottom. Left is about three times the right. Jeez Louise. Got T.Y. Hilton Green for the Colts. Another Jerry Judy Emergent. And D.J. Dallas, rookie for the Seahawks. Yeah, this has been a, a fairly brutal one. Tons of them are, like tons of the rookies that are actually decent have been emergent. That's the fifth one we've got, and it's been like a top twenty rookie that's in the emergent form. Joe Namath, Anthony Barr, and Cole Komet is our last one for the Bears. The old security code. We'll do a quick recap. That was, that was pretty brutal for like the top five or six teams. I don't have any blasters with me. I think I have an extra solo that we could do. Yeah, I got an extra solo. We can rip that. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't pack extra, but I do have... That may be my last solo, actually, in the closet, because I don't have any more loose ones, I don't think. Thomas, 
Yannick Ngaku, Odell Beckham Jr., Dallas Goddard, Damian Williams, Joe Theismann, Trey Flowers, Shaquille Barrett, Raheem Mostert, Chandler Jones Green for the Cardinals, uh, Fireworks Tom Brady, nice one for the Bucks, and Trayvon Diggs for the Cowboys. Yeah, I've debated it on certain nights. There's been some nights where it's definitely been worth it. Like, I don't know how many times I broke prison, but we pulled four Silver Herberts, which is much more than probably the odds would have thought we should have pulled. But there's some nights like this where it's just like, why even bother? Optic's been crazy awesome, and I've started ordering some of that, but... Stephon Gilmore, Kenny Galladay, and our last rookie is Keyshawn Vaughn for the Buccaneers. Yeah, that's the issue is the checklist. It's got 400 cards on it. You can't get any numbers. You can't get any autos unless you're breaking mega boxes. It's just brutal. For Prism, um, I probably ordered... I order most of my hangers off eBay because that's where I found the best price point for a small window. I was doing hangers at first, which were the, probably the best. Um, and I was order, I was getting some pretty good bulk deals off of eBay. And then the prices just shot up after a little while, so I stopped ordering. I got uh, most of the blasters from Facebook from two or three different people. I'll just order over and over as they got big lots. And then... The uh, cello boxes I actually found a website online we ordered from. The cello boxes have actually stayed pretty stagnant. Um, I think they released at like just under a thousand, like something ridiculous, and they slowly trickled down. Um, I think I started buying in at five or six hundred on the cello boxes. I think the first one I bought was like five twenty five. I was like, that's way too much for 12 cellos. And I waited a little bit longer and found some in the 400s, but that's still too much for cellos. It doesn't make a lick of difference if they're loose or sealed, in my opinion, uh, because they've got those black backs, so you can't search them anymore like people were doing uh, with the previous years. So, I don't know. You, you, gotta, you can't always pick the right time to buy. You just got a dollar cost in. So if you're, if you're buying a kind of a higher point, just keep buying while the price is going down. Um, and then when you honestly think it's the lowest, just buy as much as you can. And, and you just can't buy anymore. So, anyways, Keyshawn Vaughn, red, white, and blue for the Bucks. We got a fireworks, Tom Brady for the Bucks. Cole Komet, red, white, and blue. We got an emergent, Jerry Judy. Zach Moss, red, white, and blue. Cam Akers, emergent. Colin Johnson, green for the Jaguars. Devin DuVernay, red, white, and blue for the Ravens. Jerry Judy, emergent. James Prochet, green for the Ravens. Patrick Queen, red, white, and blue. We got a fireworks, green. Christian McCaffrey, J.K. Dobbins. Drew Brees, red, white, and blue. Joshua Kelly, red, white, and blue. There's a Tom Brady base. This one looks better than the other one, but it still doesn't look great. Centering-wise, are just pretty terrible. Uh, the other one was... Just terribly centered base card. We got a DK Metcalf green. AJ Terrell rookie there. Neville Gallimore red, white, and blue. Henry Ruggs emergent. Mike Evans green. Anthony Gordon red, white, and blue. Ben DiNucci red, white, and blue. Tyler Johnson. Uh, there's one rookie. We have another one over there as well. Just had a little scratch on it. LaVisca red, white, and blue. Brandon Ayuk base. Justin Jefferson, emergent. Raquan Davis, green. Julian Blackman, red, white, and blue for the Colts. Brilliance, Julio Jones. Josiah DeGuara, red, white, and blue for the Packers. And go hard or go home with Josh Allen for the Bills. I want to do the same thing with Optic. I haven't really started buying Optic yet. Just because I just can't rationalize 80 bucks for a blaster. You get 24 cards. Now I've seen some crazy cards come out of those things. Hangers have been awesome. Uh, but it's just... 
when you're paying four dollars per card inside the box and you know for a fact you're gonna have you know a dozen of them are base cards you really gotta think about what you're doing <laughs> before you get too crazy with it but especially if you plan to buy you know six or eight blasters per break but anyways appreciate you guys hanging out sorry the break was hot trash sorry the extra pack was hot trash these will all ship tomorrow um Maybe you'll get them by Saturday. Mostly, it'll probably be Monday uh, if you're on the outer edge of the states. But you guys take it easy. If you need something, shoot me a message on eBay or Facebook. Be glad to help you out. Y'all have a good week. We'll see you.